All right, number four gives us a differential equation to start off with. Uh, first question is, what is the second derivative if the first derivative is this? So the second derivative requires you to take the derivative of the derivative. That's going to look like 2x minus 1 half dy dx. Um, it does ask for our answer in terms of x and y, and so I need to also think about what that is in terms of x and y, but I have that up above, so I simply have to substitute back, and I get 1 half times x squared minus 1 half y. Uh, simplifying, you get 2x minus uh, x squared over 2 plus y over 4. That's our answer for the second derivative. Right, B asks um, if uh, y equals f of x is a solution to this differential equation. Um, is there a max min or neither at negative 2, 8? So negative 2, 8 is a point on the graph of f whose derivative is this. And basically, I just need to figure out, uh, first of all, what the first and second derivative are at this point. Okay. So for letter B, I want to find dy dx at the point negative 2, 8, and that's going to be 4 minus, um, uh, let's see, 1 half times 8, which is 4, which is 0. So that's not surprising that it's 0. Uh, the fact that the derivative equals 0 means that one of these things is true. Usually at this point, I would test the derivative before and after, but I have no information in this problem about the before and after of uh, this point. But what I do have is the second derivative that we just found in part A. So we're actually going to use that to answer question B. So my second derivative uh, was the following. And the second derivative at this point, negative 2, 8, is going to be negative 4 minus 4 halves, which is 2, plus 8 fourths, which is 2. And so I end up with negative 4. So here's the situation. I have a second derivative that's negative and a first derivative that's 0. That means I have a graph that's flat and concave down at the same time. And if you think about a picture of that, there's really one, only one option, right? This point um, 2, negative 2, 8, um, has to be a place where the first derivative is 0, and it has to be concave down at that point. Um, that's going to make it a maximum. Uh, your justification would be um, that um, at negative 2, 8, the first derivative is 0 and the second derivative is negative. All right, part C says, suppose you have a function whose solution is the uh, solution to a differential equation with a different initial condition. And the question is, what's the limit? So the limit as x approaches negative 1 of g of x minus 2 over 3 times x plus 1 squared. I substitute negative 1 in here. I know g of negative 1 is 2. So I get 2 over 2. I'm sorry, 2 minus 2 on top. And on the bottom, I get 3 times 0 squared. And so this is a scenario that leads to a 0 over 0 situation. Uh, that means that it's indeterminate and I want to use L'Hopital's rule. All right, so the limit as x approaches negative 1 of the derivatives, g prime is the derivative of the numerator, 6 times x plus 1 is the derivative of the denominator. Um, g prime is going to be the derivative, so I'm going to go back to my differential equation, plug in the point uh, negative 1 comma 2, so that's going to be 1 minus 1 half times 2 over 6 times uh, negative 1 plus 1. Um, I end up with 1 minus 1 over 6 times 0, and I still get 0 over 0. So I'm going to apply L'Hopital's rule one more time. get up here. And I get g double prime of x over 6. Um, I'm going to use the second derivative formula from part um, a. Uh, I'm going to get 2 
times negative 1 minus negative 1 squared over 2 plus 2 over 4 all over 6. So that's going to be negative 2 um, minus a half plus a half all over 6. I end up with negative 1 third. Negative 1 third is my limit. All right, and D is what is the solution to a differential equation, or sorry, if H is the solution to a differential equation, and we know H of zero equals two, it's asking us to find H of one using two steps of Euler's method. So I, want, I can find H of a half by doing two plus my step size, which is a half, times my slope, and so here, dy dx is, um, 0 squared minus 1 half times 2, which is just 1. Um, that's my differential equation. All right, and so um, that ends up being 2 plus a half, and that is, oh, you know what? Um, oh, that's right. Oh, this is negative 1, my fault. Negative 1. So it's 2 minus a half, and so you get 3 halves. Uh, I'm going to need this slope in just a second, so I'm going to figure out the slope at 1 half comma 3 halves. That's going to be 1 half squared minus 1 half times 3 halves. That's 1 fourth minus 3 fourths, which is negative 2 fourths, which is negative 1 half. And I'm going to need that in my next step. So h of 1 is going to be the last y value, 3 halves plus my step, which is 1 half, times my slope at the last step, which is negative 1 half, and I get 3 halves, minus 1 fourth, that's 6 fourths, minus 1 fourth, which is 5 fourths. So you could have that in decimal form too, but 5 fourths is your answer.